That's all that matters. You know how to spell it. <laughs> That's right. All right, so yeah, this poem is called Mud Pies because when we was, you know, poor and broke in Mississippi and sometimes we had no toys, so I just go sit out in the dirt and play and make mud pies. So this poem is um, dedicated to my granddaddy and I hope y'all like it. <clears throat> Esophagus clogged with the sentiments of logical aspirations. Doses of halitosis spewed against the few who claim they really love me even though they know I'm full of shit. I'm as phony as it gets this is only a test to see if I realize that I am truly blessed. Being stressed is just a reminder that I'm alive. Sometimes pain fuels the fire of ambition. Other times it forces weak souls into submission. Ain't no penance for perpetuating vengeance. I was sent this, didn't plan it. One of the few vessels on this planet, opening wide to reveal insides full of swallowed pride and digested suggestions of what everyone thinks I should be. Cause they're afraid of what I could be. Because I am the victim's advocate, trying to cure the black plague. But my people delay cause make a minimum wage ain't gonna help raise us out the ghetto. And hustling rocks ain't gonna stop somebody's daughter from hooking in stilettos, we settles for less. And our absence in progress and our absence in Congress don't make it no better. Man, you telling me we need Jay-Z and Will Smith to remind us that we have gifts? No wonder men brag on their manliness in order to make themselves feel adequate, when most often than not, it's not that serious. When the real inadequacies lie in your convictions and your restrictions against your women. I mean, my bad if you can't run your fingers through my natural, but at least you know it's really mine. I mean, define beauty. Can you even dissect the false set of guidelines that society gives you to define your queens by. But then again, it makes sense that a Burger King claim a Dairy Queen. I've seen light clouds my insight. I've forgotten what the stars look like. Cause while the right half of my brain is in flight, I can't even sin right. Cause the pen writes only the truth. I block out the sad memories from my youth and recall only the positive ones that soothe and emotionally behoove. I recall the days when I had no idea what the word revolution meant. I recall the time I spent in the confession booth trying to repent. I miss the days when me and my little cousin would bathe in the same tub. I miss my granddaddy's love. He would take us to the railroad tracks where we would pick berries that were black. He would try to make me see entertainment value in Western movies. Pulling off his boots was one of my duties. And I remember having to mix his gin and Coke and how that smell made me choke and shit. My granddaddy was my dad, the only person who ever whipped my ass. And I wish I could thank him for that spanking cause my life was missing so much discipline. And my mind meanders as I'm wishing then was now. If I could only bring him back somehow. Esophagus clogged with the residue of unspoken appreciation. Resolute denial since I was a child that my granddaddy would never be taken. Biological father's place was already vacant. Damn, I need a vacation from misery's tendency to control me. I wish the water that they sprinkled on us was truly holy, cause if it was, then I would drink it, cause I think it would unclog my throat. And I could speak to you this poem that I wrote. And I could let you know that my insecurities will be my demise. My longing for a respectable father figure never dies, because till this day, I cannot look my father in his eyes because all I see is me and my grandpa in the front yard making mud pies. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>